Hello everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, I had a busy weekend. I had a stressful weekend and apparently the stress is spilling over into this week, which is just, just awesome, you know? Um, this, <sighs> you guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's been rough. I've had an emotional, stressful, frustrating whirlwind of the last 72 hours. And some of it's been great and some of it has been not so great. And you know, sometimes you just wish, I don't even know, but let me tell you about it. Um, so Saturday we held a surprise 80th birthday party for my stepfather that went pretty good um, you know we had about 15 people there friends family uh, it was just very stressful because 99.9% .9 of everything fell on my shoulders to plan organize you know pick up all the food pick up all the party decorations carry everything up to the room, set everything up, organize everything. Like literally most of it all fell on me, um, which is fine. I'm okay with that. It's just, it's stressful and it's exhausting. It's exhausting. Um, so that was our Saturday afternoon. Uh, he was surprised. He was happy. Everything went great. Um, Saturday night, we had a couple friends over for a uh, game night. This is the first time we have hosted game night, and we had a awesome time. We played a few board games, played some Kaiser, had food, had some drinks, had some laughs. It was it was a good time, and hopefully we can do that again soon. And then a Sunday, uh, we were up bright and early to get ready for our family photo shoot. Uh, every fall, we do a photo shoot. Um, this was an emotional one for me because um, this was our first photo shoot without our rescue dog, Susie, who passed away in May. Um, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm still having a really hard time with it. So that was emotional for me. Um, we also take some pictures of our daughter because her birthday is in October just to kind of commemorate her birthday. Um, she's turning six this year, so we did some special photos with her for that. And then after all of that, a Sunday afternoon, uh, my friend and I got together for our monthly shopping trip, which is what I'm sharing with you today. I'm very excited. We got some awesome things. Um, so we do try to get together once a month at least to either you know go shopping, movie something um and we went shopping and one of the things we've been doing lately which i really enjoy is we have been going to different asian markets uh where we live and we're in saskatoon and there's quite a few different asian markets that have popped up over the last few years and we just we find it very interesting because they have so many things and so many different types of food and fruits and vegetables that we've never seen before and we're not familiar with and um it's just we find it very interesting and it's also can be a little i don't know we're a little apprehensive on some things because obviously we don't speak uh, a language other than english <laughs> and a lot of their packaging and signs and things of that are just in I, I'm, I'm sure if it's Japanese, Chinese, Korean, I'm not sure. Um, but we like to go to one every time we go shopping and especially go into the snack aisles and find some interesting snacks that we can try. And we found some interesting snacks this time and uh, I'm going to share them with you. So, um, if, you have been following my channel, you might know this, you might not. Um, I currently am vegetarian, kind of in between a vegetarian and a vegan. 
Um, I used to be vegan and then I started eating uh, cheese and things again. So it kind of put me over into the vegetarian side of things. Um, so I'm in between the two. And uh, one thing we were looking down the snack aisle and I saw these. I'm going to show them to you. This is the first thing I saw. No, it wasn't the first thing, but I'm going to show these to you. We saw these and they're hanging up and I was, I looked and obviously if you look at the package, I, there's no English. There's no English on these, on these packaging. There's, there's, there's no English. And I just saw the picture and I'm like, Ooh, I said, that looks really good. I wish I could find a vegetarian version of something like that. And my friend looked at the sign where the price was, and that was in English. And it said vegetarian. She says, well, it says vegetarian. And I'm like, what? So I grabbed the package and I turned it over and the back obviously is not in English either. However, they did put a English label on it. And if you look at it, look at that. Vegetarian. This is a soy product. And I was excited. Now it was in the snack aisle. Okay. It was in the snack aisle and it looks like meat, right? Like the packet, it looks like little pieces of beef or pork, I guess. Beef, I think. I don't know. And, uh, I was like, okay, a beef. It says on the back, vegetarian beef, five spice flavor. And there's this one beside it. They had another one. So you can tell because they're different color, right? Brown, green, and they had a red one. The red one was spicy and I'm not, I mean, it depends on the spice. I'm just starting to get into spice. So I left that one alone. I might pick it up next time though. So five spice flavor and the green one here is vegetarian beef in a sauce. And I like sauces. So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. So I thought, oh, it must be like a jerky, right? It must be like a jerky. And um, I opened, like, I opened this up. Well, okay, first, so I'm like, I'm going to get them both, okay? So we bought a bunch of stuff, and I'll get to the other stuff in a minute. And we get into the car, and I'm like, hey, let's try these snacks, right? So one thing I like about a lot of their products is when you open it, they're individual packages. Now, bad for the environment, I get it, a lot of packaging. They do like their packaging, but I like it because... When I buy a, a bag of like vegetarian jerky and you open it, you have to eat it within a certain amount of time. These are individual. So I can just eat one and this stuff will keep forever, right? So I'm like, let's try this. So I open it, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then I looked at the bag and I looked at the top part and I'm like, oh, do you have to cook this first? Because it shows it, you know, in a pot. And I'm like, oh no. And then I'm like, wait a second. Is it just like the seasoning? And I'm like, no, like it feels weird. And then I'm like, no, it can't be. And my friend was like, it was in the snack aisle. I'm like, you're right. So I opened up a package and it's, um, one little piece of soy meat, if you will, in here. And it's not really a jerky like it's hard. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to open it up and show you. Now I've tried this one before. This was the five spice flavor. I tried it and I'll tell you, I actually liked it, but let's open up this. We didn't try this one. So I'll try this one with you guys. This is the vegetarian beef sauce. Okay. Let's open this up and you'll see. So I'm assuming this one's going to be saucy. The other one was very oily. I should probably have some tissue or something. The other one's very oily. So this one says sauce. I don't know if it's going to be the same or what, but again, these are little individual packages. It's all in a language that I have no idea. I think that's Japanese. I don't even know you guys. Okay. Um, let's open it up and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Now all it says is vegetarian beef sauce, 
The ingredients are sugar, puffed soybean product, water, vegetable oil, salt, soybean paste, MSG spices, black soybean, sodium, and food allergies is soy. So it's all based on soy. Um, now, what's interesting, their labels are obviously a little off. Because the one we had tried, it says that there's zero grams of protein in it, which makes no sense to me because soy is a protein. And in this one, it says there's 22.2 .2 grams of protein. So obviously the labels, when they did the translation, they're kind of off. But anyway, let's open this up and I'll show you what I mean. Now this says sauce, so I'm expecting it to be saucy. Yeah, it smells the same. Okay. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Let me take it out. You can see it does, it's oily again, right? Like it's kind of oily. This one, it, you know what? I thought it would be a lot saucier. This is what the other one looked like too. So maybe it's just the flavor that's different. And the texture to me is kind of like meat. So it's hard to rip. So I'm just going to take a bite. Mm. Can you kind of see that? Mm. I think I like the five spice flavor better. Don't get me wrong, it's good. But the five spice flavor had more spice to it, obviously. But what I'd like is the individual packages. If this is 22 grams of protein, just this piece, that's amazing because when I get my bariatric surgery, which I'm waiting for, if you've been following my channel, you know, this is perfect because this is the perfect size for a snack. I need high protein food. I'm vegetarian slash vegan, so it's hard to get high protein food in a small amount of in a small amount of food, which is what I'll be eating. So if this is actually 22 grams of protein, this is a good snack. And I can just throw one or two of these in my purse if I'm going out, right? The other thing I like about these is if I ever make like my own pho or soup, noodle soup, put a few of these in there. Mmm. I'm actually really impressed with these. I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. This is good. This is really good. Sorry, guys. I just, I want to eat the whole thing because it's good. I wish I could read this language. Okay. I think that's the second one I think is, okay, that's calories. Okay, so for 100 grams, how much is this? Does it say? No. 100 grams. I'm going to be right. Oh. I can't translate it, but I'm going to have to figure someone who can translate it for me. Guys, these are really good. I don't know what they're called in that language, but... Asian market. These are really good. I'm happy about that. So, yay. Thanks for sharing that with me. Let me eat that. So, it was good. Hang on. I gotta get a Starbucks drink here to wash that down. This was a good purchase. So, we picked that up and tried. I also picked up, while I was there, some white pepper. I've had a few recipes that have called for white pepper. And I don't have white pepper, and I just use black pepper, which I'm sure is fine. But I saw this, and I'm like, ooh, I want this, white pepper. So I was happy I found white pepper as well. And then back to the snacks, we like to try some chips. Now, my friend picked up lime, it said lime chips. 
I don't have any here to show you. I'm sorry. Um, but we tried them. Because the last time we went, I picked up cucumber chips. They were like Lay's cucumber. And they were weird. They were, it was a cucumber flavor. Um, like the first chip we were like, I don't know if we like it. But we couldn't stop eating them. There was something, to, we just, we kept eating them. And then we're like, yeah, I think I like, I don't know if I like it, but I can't stop eating them. So my friend got these lime ones. And what I found funny about it, because with chips, you think it's going to be a savory taste. I took a bite and it was like sweet. Like it reminded me of like a key lime pie or a lime cheesecake. It was that kind of sweet flavor. And it's not that they were bad. They were just different. I picked up some chips as well. <laughs> and this was also a funny situation. So I picked up these Jack and Jill potato chips, cumin barbecue flavor. Okay. And, um, these are vegetarian and, uh, we got in the car and I opened them up. And when I opened them up, I mean, I've already opened them, but so you just have to trust me. There was another silver bag inside this bag. And I'm like, gee, they sure like their packaging. So I opened up the silver bag and we started eating them. And it was like a very mild taste. And I'm like, oh, these are really light, but I like them. They're light. And then I looked at the back of the bag. This is why you should always read instructions, especially with bags of things you're not familiar with. It says, take out the potato chips pouch and the cumin seasoning packets. Pour the potato chips in the zipper bag, pour the seasoning packet in, and shake it. <laughs> Seriously. So then we did that, and then we tried them. You guys, these chips are good. Number one, it coated them perfectly. There's no residue at the bottom of the bag. I don't know if you can tell. You can tell. Like, they coated them perfectly. Let me get one here to show you. Okay. Can you see all the spice on there? Like, oh, you guys. It's so good. It's so good. It is strong. That cumin flavor. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but. But again, so addictive. I can't stop eating them. My daughter tried them and she doesn't normally like seasonings, spices, sauces, dips. She doesn't like anything. She doesn't like ketchup. She's almost six and doesn't like ketchup. You guys, I thought she would hate these because of the flavor. She loves them. Loves them. They are good. So. Mmm. Cumin barbecue flavor. Jack and Jill. So we're going to continue on our shop monthly shopping trips to hit the Asian markets and get new snacks. I will do my best to share them with you as we do them. It was really yummy. Okay. Mmm. Yum. Okay. Then, I don't remember where we went next, but we went to Winners. Okay. You guys know... I like winners, okay? It's fall time. I'm a sucker for, well, anything really. But I found this and I had to have it. Now, I haven't decided if what I'm doing with it yet. You guys, look at this tablecloth. It's cloth. Can you see the sparkle in there? It's beautiful fall colors. I love it. It was $24.99, okay? Now, I have no idea what size this is. I haven't opened it yet. It looks like someone returned it just based on how it's wrapped. Um, but it doesn't, it shows you all the different sizes on the back, but it doesn't tell you what this is. I'm hoping this is a rectangle because that's what I need. So I'm going to try it on my table and see if I like it or not. Then I also found a table runner. 
and I couldn't decide, do I want a full tablecloth or do I just want a table runner? I couldn't decide because pros and cons to both, right? The nice thing about a table runner is when we're eating dinner at the table, if my daughter spills food or something, with a tablecloth, I got to wash it like every single time, probably. With a table runner, I shouldn't have to. So I don't know. I'm going to try both and then decide if I'm keeping one or taking both back. I haven't decided yet. But here's the table runner that I chose. It is a gorgeous sunflower pattern. I, I love sunflowers. I just, I think they're beautiful. Um, this was $19.99 see that so I have to decide I mean tell me in the comments I mean obviously you can't tell because it's not on my table but if you could only choose one which one would you pick and why or do you hate them both and think I should just return both of them I don't know um so that's what I got from winners don't worry there's more um I also got from winners this I had been looking at this um, before when I went and I didn't pick it up, um, but this isn't for me. This is going to be a Christmas gift for our neighbors. Um, they're awesome people. We love them. They're great neighbors. And uh, I thought this was really cute. So it's a pasta set. It's got the pasta oil here and then it's got a bunch of different seasonings. Um, there's... Yeah, what is this? Uh, I'm going to say these names wrong. There's an Italian salt blend. There's a mix Arabiata. I don't know. And a mix ADP. I don't know. Um, so they can make their own pastas. This was regular $20 on sale for $16. There's the price there. Um, and this does not expire until um, September of 2022. So uh, definitely still lots of time. I just thought that would be a nice little Christmas gift for them. Yes, I'm buying Christmas gifts, you guys. I started shopping for Christmas like last Christmas for this Christmas. So don't worry. Don't worry. This is just what I do. Um, so I got that. And then, of course, in the impulse aisles, you guys, you know they get me every time more jerky. Now this is a uh, vegan jerky. Okay. I got two different ones. This is the electric jerky in teriyaki. And I also picked up a, uh, teriyaki jerky in function natural food company. Okay. So those are the two I got. These both were $4.99. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try these with you too. Now, normally I've tried a lot of vegan jerky before. I like the Noble brand. That's the best one. Um, so we started with, I think, the electric jerky. I'll show you here. So these, I'm just going to get a little piece to show you. This is the electric jerky. Okay. I believe this is also a soy product. Yes, this is also a soy product. Okay, and teriyaki, and so far, teriyaki seems to be my favorite flavor with jerky, so let's just give this a try. Mmm. Okay. Chewy. Good texture. Good flavor. This one's a little smoky. Like, they probably added liquid smoke in there. It doesn't say. It doesn't say there's liquid smoke. But it does taste smoky to me. And then we have the Function Natural Food Company. Okay. This one. I mean, it looks pretty much the same. It's also a soy product. The texture is, it's very similar. These two are both very similar. Hmm. 
This one doesn't have as much of a smoky flavor than that one does. This one's more sweeter to me. If I had to pick one, I'd probably do this one. But honestly, they're so close. They're both good. This one's sweet. This one's smoky. Personal preference. But they're both good. Mm, yum. I like these. Um, interesting. This one's got 7 grams of protein. This one's got 9. Um, and they say half a package is a serving, is what they say. So, you know, again, for a quick little snack that's got some protein in it, it's pretty good. Mmm. I should have mentioned. Another thing I liked about these was the price. There's about nine individual packets in each one. I can't remember exactly what the price of these was. I want to say it was around two dollars and was it two dollars? Like two fifty nine, I think, each. Which I mean, these are five bucks each. So this is basically half the price and you probably get probably close to the same amount of product. Well, what does it say here? This is 70 grams. Oh, I don't know. This says 108 on the package. I'm guessing that's 108 grams. And this is 70 grams. So if that's true, this is actually a better deal. Now, obviously, it's not the same thing, um, but it's pretty close. So, you know, those Asian markets, you guys, if you have one where you live, you should check them out because they have so many different types of snacks and food. It's really interesting. Okay, that's what I got at Winners. Um, we did go to a few other places, but I didn't get anything else there. The last place we went, I'm excited. Okay course value village of course had to go right you have to um I don't think I've mentioned it yet or maybe I did uh my daughter yes I did because it did an Amazon opening so my daughter decided she wanted to be Princess Peach for Halloween she loves Princess Peach that's who she's gonna be so we got her Princess Peach um dress and crown from Amazon so my husband said okay well if she's gonna be Princess Peach uh, my husband decided he wants to be Mario for Halloween. So uh, sometimes we like to, you know, have the same kind of characters and sometimes we don't. Um, so he wants to be Mario. I'm like, well, if you guys are going to do Mario characters, then I should too. I like Yoshi. Um, so I decided, hey, I'll be a Yoshi. Um, we've been looking. I mean, we just kind of started looking. Uh, Value Village and thrift stores for Mario and Yoshi costumes. Apparently they're hard to find. Um, I will be having a Amazon haul coming up soon with uh, those things because we went to the thrift stores and couldn't find anything. So uh, I did find one thing at the thrift store, however, and it's going to be hard to show you. So just bear with me because it's full body length. Um, but I found this and it's going to be perfect. It is a plush green, pretty much a uh, jumpsuit. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be honest with you guys. It, um, it's a little snug on me. I mean, I'm a big girl, you know, uh, it's a little tight in the thighs and the boob area and the shoulders because I'm pretty broad in the shoulders. Um, but I think it'll do. I think it'll do. Um, this I got at Value Village and it was $9.99. It's an extra large. I probably could have done with a 2X, but the chance of me finding a plain green and I know on camera it probably looks really lime green it's not quite that color it's a little darker um, to find just a full-length 
one in green without anything on it. Like, it's almost like it was meant to be, you guys, honestly. So I'm going to be wearing this for Halloween. And then on Amazon, I ordered a Yoshi hat, uh, which I will show you when it arrives. And then I got some Mario stuff coming as well. So when that all arrives, I will show you. I also couldn't pass this up. I don't know why I keep buying stuffed animals because I just, ugh, I love them. He was so cute. I couldn't leave him there. You guys, you guys, look how cute he is. He still has tags on. Uh, he is a red eyed tree frog. Um, it's just so cute. The regular price of this was $24.99. I don't know if you can see that. That was the regular price, okay? Of course, I didn't pay that, you guys. I paid $4.99. Again, he doesn't look like he was played with. He looks in perfect condition. I don't see any stains, rips, burns, holes, anything on him. He looks like he probably sat on a bed or on a shelf, and that was it. He's so cute, I had to buy him. So I got that. Another thing, this is the last thing I got. You guys, I know this video is getting long. I'm sorry. Now, um, if any of you have been watching my videos, you know I love Tupperware. I have a lot of Tupperware. I have Tupperware uh, glasses, which I love. The only thing is some of the glasses I have are kind of, they're, you know, about this big and they're kind of narrow. So you know, you can, yeah, I mean, it's big enough, but sometimes you just want a bigger glass of something. These I thought were super cute. They're brand new in the box. So, you know, that's always a plus. Check it out, you guys. Eight of these glasses with these colors on the rim. I love them. Now, they were on the shelf like this and normally I wouldn't look at them because I don't like glasses made of glass because they break. My husband is clumsy. I have a six-year-old. I don't like glass. I also don't like glass in the summertime when we're out on the patio or in the pool. I don't want glass because I don't want a mess plastic's the way to go. I wouldn't have grabbed these off the shelf because they look like glass. But I'm like, are they really new? You know, you have that. So I opened it up. You guys, they are still individually wrapped with their plastic. They still have the little insert there. Let me take one out and show you. You guys, they're plastic. Look how awesome these are. I am so happy. They have weight to them. They, they're heavy, but they're plastic. They're a shatter proof plastic and I love them. They come in all different colors as shown on the box. Okay. Um, it's durable. Uh, indoor, outdoor use, dishwasher safe on the top rack. These are 22 ounces is the size of these. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, I love them. And you want to know what else I love about them? I looked these up. Apparently these were from Walmart originally. Now I could not find this exact eight piece set. Okay, not on the Walmart website. I found a 12 piece set on the Walmart website and the 12 piece set was $54.99. Now I did find the eight piece set on a different website and it was $49.99 for these exact ones or $39.99 for these ones that are all clear and don't have the color. Okay, that was the original price. You know I didn't pay that, you guys. Look at what I paid for these. $5.99! $6 for eight 
brand new glasses. Less than a dollar a piece. That's how you do your thrifting. I was so happy. So that was my last find at Value Village. That concludes the shopping haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments. Do you thrift? Do you go on shopping trips with your girlfriends once a month, every two weeks? What do you guys do? Tell me. I want to know. And again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I definitely appreciate the support. Make sure if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more of my videos in the future that you definitely subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.